this year starting of the college so this is as per the times of india article which came today that uh, it talks about the clubbing of um branches across four streams which i mentioned so if you see in the second paragraph the four streams are mentioned so the four streams names are first stream is civil stream right there in the civil there will be many you know branches clubbed so first stream is civil second stream is basically computer science so you know there are a lot of computer science or computer science related specializations which will be part of that third is electrical and electronics again there are a huge number of branches related with this and the fourth are mechanical engineering so these are the only four streams in which all the branches of engineering will be clubbed and also if you see in the second paragraph it talks about you know releasing the uh, you know tentative schedule by btu for the first year uh, students right so it clearly says that the first year induction will begin on november 21 and this also i have told in many videos of mine that first year induction will begin begin on 21st november and the classes will begin on december 1st so this is what i have given information in with respect to many colleges earlier also now i will also talk about the type of clubbing which is done for example if you see in the right side that the civil engineering branch consists of civil ceramics and cement technology construction technology ctm branch for example you it say in, there in jss mysore and the environmental engineering branch and the mining engineering so this five are clubbed under civil engineering that is civil engineering consists of civil ceramics cement construction technology environment and mining so this is the basically the continued article so uh, let me tell you the how is the clubbing done for other branches so if you see second stream apart from civil is the computer science so computer science has 16 courses so you can understand which will be there like computer science artificial intelligence data science machine learning csc cyber security and so on and within the computer science you also have a biotechnology so you will think how biotechnology is related with computer science and why it is kept in the computer science stream right so it is because the biotechnology also has a technology angle so that's why biotechnology is clubbed with the computer science stream where 16 courses are covered the third stream is electrical and electronics so you know by the name right so in electrical and electronics there are seven uh, courses right so one is ece ece is part of electrical and electronics then triple e is there which is electrical and electronics engineering then electronics and you know instrumentation electronics and telecommunication and so on there are seven such courses which are covered in electrical and electronics and the last one is the mechanical which is also the biggest one so mechanical has total 18 branches covered under that so one you know is the mechanical then next is the aeronautical is also part of mechanical stream aerospace is also part of mechanical silk technology or the robotic and automation which is the new branch is also part of mechanical and the mechatronics is also part of mechanical then definitely there will be industrial production and many other branches which are similar to mechanical so those are club under mechanical so total 18 branches so there are only four streams civil computers electrical electronics and mechanical so also second thing is that you see in the second paragraph that this is for grouping subjects in the first and the second semesters for framing syllabus of pure sciences right from the second year right so this is only applicable for the first and second semester from the second year they will um, you will move into your own branch where you will study the branch subjects so the other point is that irrespective of which stream you are in 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 of one of those four streams some subjects are main mandatory for every stream right so all students any students right get to choose one subject each from two baskets so they is given two basket one is the engineering courses basket and second is the emerging technologies or the programming language courses so when we say about the engineering basket let me show the courses so in the engineering basket the subjects are like introduction to civil introduction to electrical engineering or introduction to electronics engineering or pro introduction to programming or the introduction to mechanical engineering so each of the students can choose one of those uh, these subjects and in the whatever you choose in the first semester you cannot repeat in the second semester 
सो लेट मी शो ऑल्सो यू वॉट इज इंक्लूडेड इन द एमरजेंट एमरजिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज कोर्स बास्केट और द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज पी एल सी बास्केट राइट सो इन द एमरजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज कॉल्ड ई टी सी कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेनो सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक ग्रीन बिल्डिंग्स एम्बेडेड सिस्टम नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी ड्रोन टेक्नोलॉजी सस्टेनेबल इंजीनियरिंग वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट स्मार्ट मटीरियल्स एंड सिस्टम मैनेजमेंट सो वन सब्जेक्ट यू कैन टेक फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट एंड द नेक्स्ट इज द प्रोग्रामिंग बकेट सो प्रोग्रामिंग बकेट आर लैंग्वेजेस आर लाइक पाइथॉन Java, C++ plus plus and web programming. So you can choose one from this bucket. So if the student opt from ETC in the first semester, then he has to select PLC in the second semester. So that way you will get both the buckets uh, subjects, right? And the last point is that PCM, Physics, Chemistry, Maths has been retained with four credits each. So they were thinking of making it optional, but lot of teachers protested that, and they said no. If it is optional, then what they will do because they are the subject teacher. So it is now maintained. So even you have to study PCM in the first and second semester. And Maths will have a lab component with open source software, right? So that is also everybody has to take. so students in each cluster will learn different things for example for chemistry for example in a chemistry a civil engineering student might learn more about cement concrete and new civil engineering materials right in computer science it in the same chemistry part computer science student will learn about lcd display computer components from the chemistry angle or the computers help in drug design from the chemistry angle right so basically lot of planning has gone into this and it will help students to take the wide variety of subjects uh, in the first and the second semester so that's all i have small update i have thanks for watching and please do subscribe to get similar updates take care and bye